How's it going, fam? Welcome back to Erica's EDC. And today, you're in the yard, the new yard for the first time. We have the dogs. We ha have our best friends. They're very quiet, but they are pretty kind. Um, guys, we're in the yard today. I haven't filmed out here yet, but today we're gonna attempt to do some content on the badger. Um, I have all the dogs out here and they're gonna be loud, obviously. And we're just gonna see how it goes. But I have crazy hair. We've never used the badger before, so why not baton with it for the first time ever. First use. Okay, so this is my latest design with Levi from Northern Knife Works. This is the badger. It is in crew wear. Mine is 66.5, but the production will be 63 to 64. Nice, lightweight outdoors knife backpacking knife, sharpened spine. So we're gonna test it out today. Um, rays are sharp, but we'll see how it does with the batoning. Not like it's meant for this, um, but I wanna see if it can do it. So we have some, I think this is pine. And then we're just gonna see if it can get through this and just kind of how it does. This definitely shouldn't be a designated batonic knife, but I wanna see if it can handle it. You're like not making good life decisions. Thank you. I'm curious to see how this does, seeing that it's almost 70 H or 67 HRC. That was quick. Like I said, the production ones are gonna be 63 to 64 because 66.5 is a little spicy. There is a intro video on this knife already, but this is the first time we're ever even using it. Doing pretty good. Now I don't, I didn't design this knife to do this particular task. I just want it to be able to, if it's, like a need be situation. It's really supposed to be a backpacking, um, hiking, and hunting knife, as you can see by the profile. But how are we gonna know what our knives can do if we don't do it? We won't. So, um, that went through really, really well. Let's see if we can make some feathers. Sorry, I'm trying to stay in frame here and also keep my dogs like out of the way. This is some crusty wood. But it's actually not doing bad. Hey, Kane, no one, sweetheart, no one can see what I'm doing. Sadie, don't. Please don't start up. Give me, give me, god damn it. A couple minutes. All right, all right. Hey! Jesus Christ. They are, they are on one. There is a black cat that lives in the graveyard, and they are obsessed with it. Which, by the way, people thought I was kidding when I said I moved in next to a graveyard. I'm, I, I was being serious, but people thought I was kidding. That's a whole ass graveyard. That's my, that is the backyard, is a graveyard. And then here's the rest of it. So it, I was being serious when I said I moved into a spooky place where I work in a dungeon and the graveyard is uh, in the backyard. So we could definitely get some nice big chunks. Zadie, come on. Um, we've got some little feathers here. I'm gonna lower you guys down. Let's see if we can. Sorry about all the noise. The dogs are just gonna be absolutely on one. 
I don't know if this is going to light. This is not a lot, but I want to see if it will spark a ferro rod. Oh, yeah, it will. Hold on. Give me one second, guys. Okay, yeah. Definitely throws sparks. Cool. Yeah, I don't really have any, I don't have enough to light here per se, but definitely does it. So that's good. Awesome. Okay, cool. Let's see if we can actually, this stuff is so old and crusty and gross. Let's see if we can do some finer feathers. That's nice. So like I said, this knife wasn't designed first and foremost for like fire tasks. What it was actually designed for was to be an ultralight backpacking hiking knife uh, hunting knife, but like I said, how are you going to know what it can do if you don't do it? So I, the, the reason we picked crew air, um, sharpened spine, lightweight, but ergonomic, the reason we picked all of those attributes was because I wanted it to be able to do things like fire tasks if, God forbid, you did get stuck out overnight in the mountains on your hunting trip or your camping trip or whatever, um, backpacking trip. I want it to be able to do all of the other things if it needs to. Is it going to be the best at them? Absolutely not. It's not going to be the best at all of the tasks, but I want it to be able to at least handle them. And that's why we picked crew wear. That's why we even picked the orange G10 scales, because if you drop it, You'll be able to see it. Picked crew wear because it's super tough. Takes a crazy good edge, easy, easy to touch up, and um, it just lasts forever. But yeah, I really want this to be an all around um, great knife for you guys. So I figured we would, for the first, um, time ever using it, we might as well kind of go like balls to the wall with it, right? So you can really take some big chunks off with this, but you can also do the fine curls. That's good. Love that. So if you had to start a fire, there you go. And it can baton, obviously. Really cool. Zadie, please. I'm trying to, I'm trying to film. Oh, Nugget's coming over. You guys haven't even seen the dogs in a while. Because I haven't really been showing them here. Let me, oh, we're going to start getting silly. Hold on one second. Okay, so, Kane is there. There's Zadie. She's the old crusty thing. Um, we've got Zaya, who is acting like her life is miserable, and then Kovu is around there somewhere laying in the leaves. Um, he is tired from existing, which is very much a Kovu thing. And then this guy is like my, my leech. Um, okay, so that's cool. It can definitely make some little... Some little curls for tinder, that's nice. Can definitely baton, surprisingly easy actually, for such a a little knife. This is like seven inches overall, three inch blade to sweetheart. I can't, I can't do anything when you're doing that. Um, seven inches overall, got some really good belly on there for skinning. I don't feel a single bit of edge damage or anything. That's cool. Let's lift you guys back up and try to split some of those pieces into smaller pieces, just, just to see how it does. I 
I know I might be out of frame for a hot second here. Sweet. There we go. This actually batons very nicely. Um, and for the people, the, the few people in the comments who have been like, you're never gonna have to baton with a knife, bring the right tool for the job. Um, well, first of all, I just simply disagree with you. But second, um, it's, it's not like if you got lost out in the woods or something on a backpacking trip that like, I don't know if everyone would necessarily have, like, a hatchet and stuff, you know what I'm saying, and a saw. Like, you probably have this in your pack. If you're just going for a day trip gone wrong, though, you know what I'm saying? Like, you might only have this. That's why we designed it to do a whole bunch of different stuff, you know? Because not everyone is going to bring a saw and an axe and a hatchet and all of the things, they might just have like this and a ferro rod in their pack and it's like, okay, well, gotta make it overnight. Can, can, this, can this do the things that I need it to do? So far, yeah. So that was kind of the thought behind this, the badger. Um, just a beast of a little knife that you can, you can absolutely rely on out in the field, God forbid something happens. And then obviously this is a fantastic EDC design. But what, what fun is watching somebody cut boxes? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's not really that fun. Might as well do the, the cool stuff, but. These are available now through Northern Knife Works. I will link them down in the description below. Um, we will also be do doing a drop of these in a couple weeks, but you can custom order one. I gotta go guys, they're being loud. I love you guys so much. Go use your shit. Learn how to sharpen your knives. I'll see you on the next video. Love you so much, fam. Take care.